Okay, your political ideas, um, uh, I, they have a foundation on ethics, yeah? Uh, ethics, morality. And then I want to ask you, uh, how uh, is morality compatible with uh, um, limited, limited mind, determined human, uh, as you put it, if I understood you well? Uh, because in a uh, limited mind and determined human, I don't see a place for the free will, which is the base of uh, morality in the human world. So what do you think about it? About free will? And morality, which is of course the base of well, politics and, uh, well, mora and, and moral, social, yeah. social uh, Human moral uh, principles we can study. Uh, like the kind of work that I mentioned, John Mikhail, others. Uh, are carrying out the beginnings of experimental work which sheds light on and may ultimately shed a lot of light on what our innate moral principles are, what Hume was looking for, for example, and Adam Smith and others. Uh, that could shed some light on it. So I don't think it's going to tell you much about freedom of the will. Uh, freedom of the will, I think we're stuck pretty much where Descartes was. We just can't abandon believing it. It's our most immediate phenomenologically obvious impression, but we can't explain it. And as he said, if there's something which we just know to be true and we don't have any explanation for it, well, too bad for our explanatory uh, <laughs> possibilities. But uh, I don't see any way of getting around that. I mean, there's a lot of arguments that we don't have freedom of the will. And those arguments are, there's a ton of literature on that. And the literature is kind of interesting, actually for reasons that William James discussed. He said, if you believe that there's no freedom of the will, why bother presenting an argument? Uh, you're just, you're forced to do it. The person you're talking to can't be convinced because there's no such thing as reasons. So why not watch a baseball game? That wasn't his example. But you know, anybody who denies freedom of the will actually believes that it's there. Otherwise, they wouldn't bother presenting reasons. I mean, unless they say, look, I'm just forced to present these. I can't do anything else but present these reasons. Which is, yeah. And uh, it's very, very odd, these discussions, many of them. Actually, you may have seen some experimental work, uh, which caused a big flurry a couple of years ago. Some neurophysiologists discovered that uh, uh, if, a, if a person's going, going to ca carry an act of willed action, let's say, you know, pick this up, say, uh, there's, you can find activity in the motor centers of the brain before there's a decision to pick it up, okay? And that was held to show, okay, we've undermined freedom of the will. It doesn't say anything. All it says is what we ought to know anyway. Decisions are mostly made unconsciously. By the time they reach the level of consciousness, they've probably already been made, but that doesn't tell anything about how decisions are made. Uh, my question relates to the previous question, actually. Um, free will. You know, as a philosopher, I'd like to, well, you as a philosopher, I'd like to, to ask you this question. Um, you know, studies have shown that decisions made in the brain actually appear some moments before an individual experiences them. Yeah. Um, well, how can you then say that? There is such a thing as free will. I mean, thus, wiring, determinism, you know, it proves that free will basically doesn't exist. Yeah. Now, those are the experiments I was just referring to. Uh, there are some experiments which show that in a willed action, simple willed motor action, you know, picking something up, uh, there is activity in the relevant parts of the motor cortex before the decision to pick it up is conscious. Okay, that tells us absolutely nothing about freedom of the will, except that its choices are probably unconscious. But I think we know that without the experiments. What? Complicated? Oh yeah, An anything in this area is very complicated. <laughs> when we understand nothing, everything's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> it's another truism. <laughs>